I'm 62 years old. I do not have the energy for regret. The owner of a candy store in Anderson not apologizing for what he said on social media. Randy Good sharing his side of the story after being criticized for a controversial job posting on Facebook. News 8's Demi Johnson has been following this story for us. Demi, he tells you he was simply sharing experiences. Yeah, he refers to female employees as splitters and pukers in the post. Randy Good tells me being in business as long as he has, he could share several more stories just like those. And he says that's all he was doing, simply sharing a story. At Good's Candy Shop, owner Randy Good doesn't sugarcoat anything. Sorry? I would be sorry if I had something to apologize for. In a recent hiring post, Good shared stories of past employees on the store's Facebook page. He referred to female workers as splitters and pukers, saying they try to split each other up and dump their problems on others, a behavior he says they learned from their mothers. Maybe I posted it uh, without enough thought. Maybe I didn't select the proper words. Uh, I mean, for heaven's sakes, I barely got out of high school. so. It's not like I'm a word genius. Good's words struck a nerve with thousands of people from all over the world. Some even creating petitions, calling on him to shut the shop down. It was my personal experiences with some of my employees. And I listed a, a bunch of other behaviors I have witnessed as well. Never inferred that it was more or less. I did say they were some and those are the facts, and that's how I presented my experience. He says despite what some might think, the controversy hasn't been bad for business. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, yes, it has affected my business greatly. I've never been busier. The social media buzz is something Good says he didn't ask for, but gladly accepts. And monitoring what he posts is not something he plans to do moving forward. It's beyond ridiculous. I just don't have this kind of power. But people keep giving it to me that I'm affecting the lives of, of people all over the world. And, and if I could affect the lives of everyone around the world, I would turn them all into customers. At last check, the Facebook page for Goods Candy Shop is no longer up. Good did tell us he changed some privacy settings so only people from other countries could view and interact with the page. He did not say when it would be back to normal. Live in the studio, Demi Johnson, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.